All right, it's deep cranking season. That's right, deep diving crankbaits are a deal right now. Uh, it's, you know, you're gonna be doing this normally in the summertime, fish getting out on the ledges, uh, fish getting offshore, fish getting off the bank. Uh, they're done spawning, they're recovered. Uh, they're kind of at the end of that post-spawn period. If you're not sure about uh, when your fish are there, um, you know, you just, you kind of have to fish around and, and figure that out. But once you know that they're out there, you got those big boxes, you've got to figure out what colors are you going to throw with deep cranking. I'm getting excited because I love deep cranking. Uh, I'm going to be picking up ye old deep crank rod uh, as a cash in. It's a 7-Eleven. When you're, when you're cranking, just going to touch on this. When you're cranking, you want to make sure you have a, a rod big enough to throw these baits. You know, these, the deep diving crank baits, Spro Little John DD, uh, you know, Strike King, uh, you know, 6XD, whatever you're going to be throwing, they're, they're three quarters to an ounce, you know, those plugs. You got to have a rod that can handle it. Uh, this deep crank rod, 7-Eleven, you you, a seven foot rod is a minimum probably want to have more in the 7.6 to, to 7.11 range. Uh, the longer the better. You just have so much more leverage. And then I like a, a big spooled, wide spool reel that has big pinion gears on it. This is a Daiwa Tatula 150. I use a, a Tatula 100 for most everything, but the 150 is what I use for deep cranking. It's a lot wider spool. Uh, you know, other, other manufacturers have good deep cranking. That's just the one I use. But, so we're getting back to the colors deep cranking colors. I look at this as two different, you know, kind of two different things. You're going to have your natural, which you're going to be, you know, imitating the, the bait exactly that you're, you know, trying to throw, whether it's gizzard shad, that kind of thing, or you're going to be throwing a reaction color. Now keep this in mind, reaction color or natural realistic. Uh, deep cranking is in my opinion, by nature, a, a reaction bite. So, you know, the, the reaction colors are like a reaction color on top of a reaction bait, going for the reaction bite. All right, so we kind of got that, got that straight. So um, I tell you, if I could only pick one, it would definitely be ye old cellmate. I have caught just, you know, thousands and thousands of bass on the cellmate. I really think that this is a really good gizzard shad imitator. Uh, I think that's that's the one, you know, as far as for daytime uh, cranking, if I could only throw one, this is probably the one that I would be throwing. Um, but some other, other favorites, we've got a newer one called homemade shad. Now this kind of blends the natural with that reflective coating on it, you can see. It is a hot, hot color. I've just not had a, a lot of experience, a lot of time to, to catch as many thousands as I have on the cellmate, but the homemade shad, I like something in that natural that's got a little reflective to it to kind of give them that little extra uh, reaction portion to, to what they're doing. Uh, and then my number two, my number two behind the cellmate uh, is, is gonna be citrus shad. I have just caught thousands and thousands on that citrus shad. Something about that chartreuse and, and, and white with that reflection in there and that, that chartreuse belly, uh, that the blue back, man, it's just, I've just caught hundreds and hundreds and maybe even thousands and thousands on this bait as well, on that color. And you know, a bunch of manufacturers make that color. It's kind of one of those required colors. You have to have it. And that doesn't, you know, even if I'm going super deep with the super deep cranking, uh, like with the the Super DD, Little John Super DD, that that one gets super deep. And, or you know, if you're throwing a 10 XD, you got to have that that color as as one, and then you got to have that that other shad looking color like that cellmate as well. But I've I've caught a pile on nasty shad. I like that a lot. It's kind of a sexy shad type color. And then if the water gets a little bit clearer, believe it or not, I've caught a bunch on on that, which is uh, clear chartreuse. That is, a, you know, it's a standard color, but I've caught a lot on that that clearer uh, color. 
touching on smallmouth with colors, clear chartreuse is hands down my number one, number one color. This is one that I was throwing uh, last year up at Lake St. Clair. It's a Little John Baby DD. It, uh, it it is just it has just been mangled and all beat to total crap. Uh, but but then you know with the smallmouth, a perch imitator. is is something you need to mix in there so i was mixing up the perch imitator and that that right there uh in those those two were that was my one-two punch up there for the smallmouth. i think that that one-two punch works pretty much anywhere for the smallmouth. Smallmouth really get keyed in on that vibration and i think color is somewhat important to them but not not a huge huge deal uh but i'd like to i like to give them a couple i like that natural color uh, because water up there normally where you're catching smallmouth cranking is, is pretty clear at least up north uh, down south the largemouth smallmouth spots these color ideas that i'm telling you about and the it, patterns that they pretty much go uh, hand in hand like the, the water color and the forage kind of dictate the the colors there but then uh, i will just kind of touching on that chartreuse and blue this is a faded chartreuse blue Another another color that I really like. Uh, it just has that glow when it gets down in that that green water uh, of of being deeper. Uh, a good friend of mine, Craig Powers, he told me one time. He said, you know, it doesn't matter what color deep crankbait that you throw, as long as it's chartreuse and blue. And I think that's kind of funny. Uh, it, it, I heard, I've heard Denny Brower say the same thing about jigs. Now, it doesn't matter what color your jig is, as long as it's black and blue. Uh, so uh, chartreuse and blue is definitely a standard. It is very good. It definitely gets that reaction type bite that you're looking for. Uh, I'm just showing you a couple other uh, chartreuse blue options. Uh, this is a chartreuse blue, and I've actually uh, had to loan this color in the, uh, I got some down in there. I don't want to have to dig them out. In the, in the regular DD, Little John DD, I had to dig some of those out for Paul Elias back in the day uh, for a tournament we were fishing at Kentucky Lake. He was smoking them on that, and he he had them over 20 pounds the first day on that chartreuse and blue Little John DD. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'll just go ahead and give him up. But then, you know, you got some newer colors like this sexy matte shad from Spro. This is coming out uh, 1st of 2021, but I'm gonna be putting that right into the mix because it's got that reflective glow And it's just a little different hue than anything I've out there, anything I've ever seen. And, and that's going to be going into my, my arsenal for sure. Um, but, that, you know, I keep it kind of simple. I mean, you can look into my box here. Uh, oh, let me, I almost forgot. The one, other, the one other color that is kind of a requirement is we call this Spooky Nasty. And as you can see, that color is translucent. It's got a blue shimmer, a blue glimmer, if you will, throughout on the whole bait. And that is really good in clear water. Uh, if I'm cranking down at like Smith Mountain Lake or any highland type reservoir that, that the water's pretty clear, I can see four, five, six feet of water. You can still catch them on a deep crankbait, but I like to have something with a little translucence in, in it right there. And, and man, they will just mangle that thing. They will get it all up in their mouth hole and uh, you can have a lot of fun. So that's kind of the, the deal there. But then, I, and I also want to touch on night fishing. Uh, you know, a dark bait like this, this is, uh, you know, a bait, a color that Spro had made for, for fishing at night. And I don't have a lot of experience with it, that color, but I have caught a lot of fish at night on a shad pattern. So I don't think it matters, to be honest with you. I don't think it matters. Would, could this be a little bit better? It could be. I don't know. I don't have a lot of experience with it, but this very well could be better than just a shad pattern. Uh, but I can tell you, if I'm going fishing at night and I'm cranking, I will be uh, I will be putting that into the mix just to see, just to see. It could, uh, it could be the deal. So if anybody 
has any other questions on deep crank colors, uh, like I said, you want it's basically two categories. You want that reaction color, then you want that natural shad type color, and that's kind of how I keep it in uh, in with the with the deal here. As you can see, you know, just a lot, just basic, just a lot of basic colors. I don't have a whole lot of craziness, uh, a whole lot of wildness. Uh, hitting the right depth, uh, hitting the right speed, making sure you're cranking fast enough, all that kind of stuff is a big factor in in catching them. Uh, keep your colors kind of simple and you will be a much better deep crankbait fisherman.